Most people could use a set of speakers a little beefier than what your smartphone's packing out of the box, but wired speakers can be a dorky mess, and big sound often requires big power. With the portable, self-powered, wireless charging speaker, accessory maker Zens looks to change the game, at least for those with Qi-compatible smartphones. But is the Zen's wireless charging speaker compelling enough to capture your capital at the cash wrap? I'm Michael Fisher with Pocket Now. Let's find out. The most surprising thing about this product is probably its size. Compared with something like the JBL charging dock that launched alongside the Lumia 920 in 2012, the Zen's charger is quite portable. That's not to say it's lightweight. You definitely wouldn't want to cart it around in a pocket, and it likely qualifies as a weapon in some jurisdictions, but it wouldn't feel too burdensome in a backpack or a beach bag. The unit's design is simple. The speaker grill is a wraparound affair with the controls situated at the end caps. Volume and track controls, microphone and status LED on one side, power switch, micro USB, and aux in on the other. The upper surface serves as the landing pad for the single induction charging coil, and the NFC tap point is on the bottom. Nestled beneath that unobtrusive design sits a very powerful set of speakers, and seriously, they're loud. Setup is as simple as tapping an NFC-enabled phone to the tap point on the bottom to initiate the Bluetooth pairing process, or you can do it manually, if you prefer. The LED flashes while it's seeking a connection, and it holds solid when the link is established. Windows Phone 8 can be a little finicky in this department. Our Lumia 1020 was hesitant to reconnect if it lost the link, but we had no such trouble with the Moto X. And speaking of Nokia, the placement of the coil in the 1020's wireless charging shell means it requires special positioning atop the dock in order to charge. It's something not required of devices like the Nexus 5. So the ease or difficulty of finding that sweet spot will depend on what device you carry. With a 4500 milliamp hour battery powering everything, we expected fair endurance, but nothing like what the dock delivered. We were able to get eight solid hours out of the unit, streaming music via Bluetooth at medium volume, while also actively topping up the Lumia 1020's battery via Qi. So the dock only died after an entire workday of listening to Pandora and Spotify. And even then, it left the Lumia fully charged. That's outstanding performance, and it makes us wish the Qi standard was supported by more devices. That's one of the downsides of this accessory. You need to be in the Qi club to use the charging capability. There are no other wireless charging options, and the USB port is a one-way street. The shared volume and track control keys aren't the most intuitive around. The dock is pretty slow to recharge, six hours from dry to full using USB. And probably the biggest downside is the speaker's tendency to rattle at certain frequencies in bassier songs. Just like on the JBL Power Up dock, it's loud enough here to be annoying, especially since the rest of the sound is so rich and amazing. Finally, it all eventually comes down to money, doesn't it? And to be honest, a hundred bucks is a tough pill to swallow. But when you consider that the larger, less mobile JBL product cost $300 at launch, it makes a bit more sense, especially when you also factor in the unplugged chargeability and the outstanding battery life. So, if you've got a smartphone with Qi capability, or one that can accommodate a Qi-compatible case, and you want to be the king or queen of the beach parties this summer, the Zen's wireless portable dock has a great combination of wow factor and practicality at a fair price. If you want to see more from Zen's folks, we have two more Zen's products on the review docket. One is a wireless charger for home, the other a wireless charger for the car. So check those out. Those reviews will be landing soon at pocketnow.com and here on YouTube. Follow us on social media so you can see what we're talking about both on duty and off. And please, if you enjoyed this video, toss us a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Until next time, this has been Michael Fisher with Pocket Now. Thank you for watching. We'll talk again real soon.